Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. The lowly servant here. Welcome to my channel. Today is December 9, 2021, Thursday of the second week of Advent. The Gospel said, There has been none greater than John the Baptist. Let's have a listen and reflect on it after. But first, The first reading is from the book of Isaiah. I am the Lord, your God. Who grasp your right hand? It is I who say to you, fear not. I will help you. Fear not, O worm Jacob. O maggot Israel. I will help you, says the Lord. Your Redeemer is the Holy One of Israel. I will make of you a threshing sledge. Sharp, new, and double-edged. To thrust the mountains and crush them to make the hills like chaff. When you winnow them, the wind shall carry them off, and the storm shall scatter them. But you shall rejoice in the Lord, and glory in the Holy One of Israel. The afflicted and the needy seek water in vain. Their tongues are parched with thirst. I, the Lord, will answer them. I, the God of Israel, will not forsake them. I will open up rivers on the bare heights, and fountains in the broad valleys, I will turn the desert into a marshland, and the dry ground into springs of water. I will plant in the desert the cedar, acacia, myrtle, and olive. I will set in the wasteland the cypress, together with the plane tree and the pine, that all may see and know, observe and understand, that the hand of the Lord has done this, the Holy One of Israel has created it. Responsorial Psalm the Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and of great kindness. I will extol you, O my God and King. And I will bless your name forever and ever. The Lord is good to all. And compassionate toward all his works. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and of great kindness. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord. And let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and of great kindness. Let them make known to men your might, and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages, and your dominion endures through all generations. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and of great kindness. Alleluia, Alleluia! Let the clouds rain down the just one, and the earth bring forth a Savior. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the crowds, Amen, I say to you. Among those born of women, there has been none greater than John the Baptist. Yet the least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. From the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence, and the violent are taking it by force. All the prophets and the law prophesied up to the time of John. And if you are willing to accept it, he is Elijah, the one who is to come. Whoever has ears ought to hear. Reflection Not once does the Bible say, worry about it, stress over it, or figure it out. Instead, over and over, it clearly says, fear not. Whatever our experience in life is, whoever has offended us, however severe our failures are, God tells us, fear not, I am with you. God is with us to help us find a way out of our confusion and disharmony. What we need is trust. We need to trust God who can transform our anger into mercy, selfishness into generosity, conflict into reconciliation, indifference into compassion. We must trust that times of sadness will be turned into moments of great joy and celebration. As we experience the richness of a life lived with deep trust, we are able to surrender ourselves more and more to the Lord. That's the end of the reflection from the Catholic Missal. Subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell, so you won't miss out on my next upload. Be safe and always keep God in your hearts. Peace to all.